lot of you guys have asked me how I photograph so I definitely want to show you kind of the setup. I just really photograph next to a huge window in my master bedroom. So this is the view outside. You can see the sun super bright right there so we're getting lots of natural light. So I just put it on a stool so I can kneel kind of while I'm shooting and I have a organization strategy as to everything but I bring my crystals in here. This is everything that's already been photographed. This is stuff that needs to be photographed and this is stuff that also needs to be photographed. This is a new supplier haul and these all also need to be photographed so that is that i used to use this plant as a background but it's definitely struggling so i just went back to using my tray here and then i usually just have something playing on youtube as i shoot and i'll just show you kind of actually how i do this so i kneel down here i move my roller to the side and then this is how the crystal looks when I shoot. So I shoot at every single angle. Sometimes I do a flat lay like that, but really it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I do another one at nine. And then for my 10th photo, I'll always put the ruler like this and then take a photo like that. And then the other thing I've been doing is taking video of everything. So usually it takes me 30 seconds to shoot. So once I'm done with that, I'll take it off and then I'll grab another one. So here's the next one. So then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and actually your 10th photo would be the one with the ruler i do have a sphere measure but so far i've just been using a ruler just because it's more consistent so that is kind of how i take the photos when they're flat lay like this i really 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 love this tray just because of the gray background it gives it kind of this farmhouse vibe with the graphic so that is how i photograph here now i have been also photographing because it's only 11 30 in the morning i'm getting really good sunlight here but sometimes if i don't photograph until later in the day i don't have good sunlight so then i would come over here so sometimes i'm getting better sunlight over here and this is this gorgeous wallpaper that I put up when I moved into the house. I have a velvet headboard, this cute little light. This is actually my husband's side of the bed. So a lot of the times I have been shooting over here because when the window is at the right light and the sun is over there, it comes in super nice over here. And just for context, this is where I was shooting before. My bonsai tree is in the window. <laughs> Just FYI, if you're wondering. Usually what I would do is I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, you know? And then I would come here and put the ruler standing up like that. So I can kind of show you the photos that I get. I will try to shoot some content tonight where the lighting is right so you guys can actually see. But honestly, the lighting's not bad here. Like if you look at that, you're still getting pretty decent lighting. However, I just think right now the lighting is looking so much better over here for crystals because I really like that direct sunlight look. So here's some examples of just how the citrine looks. You really get credit for the color when you're in direct sunlight. I just have not had luck with a light box. Now I live in the Midwest, so I've definitely had some struggles with sunny days. So honestly, when it's sunny, I stop what I'm doing and go and shoot the crystals just because this is like a rare that we're getting a sunny day. So I really do have to kind of stop what I'm doing, unfortunately, to get these photographs just because the light box just does not do it and I'm still playing around with it I still want to look to see kind of what options I have 
if there isn't a sunny day or if we have a full month of no sun because we're in Minnesota and that has happened before. So I do want to try to brainstorm around what I can do if we don't have the sun. So I definitely will follow up with a solution on that because this is really the only thing I'm relying on right now is the sun and you know we don't always get it here. So it's very, very simple how I shoot. I literally just need the sun and I have a cute little tray, but I've used this as a background. I've used my wallpaper as a background. Anything that you want, you can use and you can get custom trays and stuff on Etsy. You can get backgrounds, but I think the key to photographing crystals properly truly is using natural light. I've used artificial light before and it just doesn't show the crystal right. And I don't edit my photo, so this is what you see is what you get. Because I don't like to deceive people by editing my photos, by making them more colorful or making them more, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing. To me, I want to show you exactly what you're getting and that's the only way to do it is natural light and no editing. I've been as a buyer disappointed when I get a crystal and I'm like oh it looked this way on Instagram and it doesn't look like this in person so I don't ever want to do that to my customers. So long story short get yourself some sun, cute background, and the crystals will do the work for you. Like I don't have to do anything to these crystals because they are so beautiful on their own. Like there's nothing I have to do to these to make them look beautiful. Like they just do on their own. So I'm gonna try to show you the setup for later in the evening if we still have sun. Like I said, this is like an 11.30 time frame that I'm shooting that I found really successful, but the other time is like 2 p.m. So I'll try to show you kind of what the setup looks like at 2 p.m. to shoot. And my biggest advice is try to shoot at the same time every day so your lighting is consistent. So if you know 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. works, shoot at those times. And you don't need like 10 hours to shoot you know you can get a lot done in a half an hour i'll follow up you guys if i get some sun later so the lighting is already changing pretty quickly so the one thing i will say about photographing is you are on the sun's time it has shifted ever so slightly so it does change how well the lighting is shown but i wanted to hop over here and show you these insanely gorgeous crystals just for fun because we have this beautiful lighting like look at that i mean i just i can't these are so pretty look at that we have some super high quality ocean jasper these is jemmy little amethyst. That's everything I've gotten done so far. So because we have the sun, I'm gonna try to get through these. I don't think I'll be able to do all of these citrines today. I don't think that's realistic, um, but I will show you one of these super gorgeous. See, the lighting is not the greatest right here because when I put it over here, you can really see the flash. You need direct sunlight for this, but this crystal is a little bit too big for the tray. So I think I'm going to wait to try to shoot it over here this afternoon, but I do need the lighting to be a lot better because it's too dark. So I've put it here to remind myself <laughs> to try to shoot that at some point today. Okay, you guys. So it is um, almost 3 p.m. So the light definitely has shifted. I could still 100% shoot here, but I wanted to show you the other location that I shoot and how nice the light is over here. So this is kind of what I was talking about earlier is sometimes I get really good lighting here. So let me try to do this so I can show you. So look at that. So see the shots would be like one, two, three, four, five. And then I can still do the ruler here. So then I'd put the ruler right about here. So you'd see how tall it is. But the lighting is just so good right here. So this just gives me an alternate background. And then you get really nice credit for that insane 
tiger's eye flash. I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures, but I'll show you guys a couple rounds of kind of filming and taking photos in this type of lighting. Okay, you guys, so the one downside of shooting this way is the light goes away pretty fast and moves pretty fast, but watch if you shift just a little bit further, you're in the dark. If you shift this way, you're in the light. If you shift this way, this is where you wanna be at but the lighting does go very quickly. So this is kind of the one downside of shooting this time of the day, but you get such beautiful lighting. So yeah, I think this is where I'll wrap this up. That is pretty much how I shoot, the two places I shoot in my house, the lighting that I use. If I ever figure out the light box, I will sure let you know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and hopefully this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you guys' photos. If you guys want me to go check your photos out, tag your Instagram down below and I'll try to go check all of your shops out. But for the meantime, I will see you guys on the next one.